everybody. My name is Lisa. So today we are going to create a Cricut Joy card map project in Design Space, starting from a blank canvas. Now today's card is a metric A6 size, which is 14.8 centimeters by 10.5 centimeter finished folded card. I do have other sizes, including the Cricut Joy branded pack of cards. Check out the links in the playlist in the description box. So before we get started, if it is the first time you're watching me, make sure it is not the last go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell let's get started i'm going to go new project and then i'm going to go to my settings and i am going to select unit metric so you can go, flick between imperial and metric when i'm working in metric projects i flick to metric and if i'm working in imperial card sizes i will flick to imperial so we'll click done now from here, we are going to add a shape. We're going to add a square. And we are going to unlock our square. And we are going to select our insert size, which is our width is 9.7 centimeters by 14.1 centimeters. I'm going to pop this out of the way. And I'm also going to change the card color to purple just on screen. So now before we start designing, I'm just going to show you a couple of little tricks. So the first one is text. Now, I don't have Cricut access, but first of all, the first thing you'll notice is that it's moved everything down a little bit. So if you are working an image with text, it is a good idea to move the whole thing down on your canvas a little bit, to make it easier. Now searching for fonts, if I go font here, my two tricks are to go to Cricut. Uh, if you are looking for something you downloaded onto your PC, the system is where you will find this. If you're looking for uh, things that are available on the cloud all around, Cricut is your is where to look. Now, I usually search for two things. First of all, it's Cricut. And if you say only Kern font, only one pops up. Untick this box and you've got a few and there's no prices attached to these. If it has a price, for example, this one here, you'll see it listed over here. Now, if I'm looking for a writing font, I can go to filters and writing, and it's all in here as well. So we've got two choices for writing fonts. Now, my other favorite is stencil. And usually there's one or two that are free at the time. At the moment, it is Cygnus stencil, and that's usually my choice. But we're not going to add a font right now. We are just going to go to images. And you'll see some of the images here. They've got prices attached to them. If you have Cricut Access, everything with that little A badge is included in your subscription. And if you want to filter by those, you can actually tick a box. And that will help you find everything that is available to you included in your Access membership. I don't have Access, so we're going to go to Ownership. We're going to select Free. If you want to, you can include purchased and uploaded. I'm not because I want to share my project. So you've got quite a few options here. You can see I'm going to search for card. So I'm going to search for a card image. You saw the corners up the top. I'm going to use this elephant image. It looks super cute and it's got plenty of space for us to add a little personalization as well. So I'm going to add that to my canvas. And it's going to come in and it's going to be sized an odd size so we're going to resize it to match the insert which is 9.7 centimeters by 14.1 centimeters and you'll need to unlock that as well it still looks good so i'm happy i'm going to add some text so i'm going to write happy and i'm going to use a stencil font for that now just keep in mind with Cricut Design Space, the free version, what is free today might not be free to press make it tomorrow. So just keep that in mind when designing. Now I'm going to add an age to this card. You can add any age, you could add a name, you could add the word birthday. Now I'm going to go ahead position that where I'm happy. That's looking cute. When we're happy, select all and click attach. Now I want to cut both the card and the insert today. I'm also going to change the color on screen color to black for aesthetics. And then we're going to go ahead and press make it. 
So it's sorting maps into project color and we are going to select multiple ways because we are going to cut an insert as well as the card. The first one's on the card mat. Now you want to make sure your design is in the top left hand corner. Now on the second mat we're going to select on a mat. We're going to position our card where we would like it to cut on our mat. I'm going to stick with the top left hand corner for now. We're going to click back onto our first screen and get ready to press continue. Before I press continue you want to make sure that your machine is turned on. You plug it in, make sure it makes all the correct noises and that that light is flashing. I'm also going to find my mats. I've got one lovely card mat here and I have one lovely light grip mat for my other card. Now the first card mat it was saying was the card. So we're going to take off our dust cover, we're going to pop our card. Now my other trick here is you've got to make sure that your card lines up with that blue line. You want to avoid as many finger oils as you can on this card mat too. I like to use my scraping tool and give it a good stick to that card mat without touching it. My first card mat got lost to finger oils and scraping and all sorts of rubbish. Machine's on. And now it's asking me to connect to my machine. So we're going to be using a card today. So I'm going to select insert card cardstock. And then I'm going to select default pressure. You might need to play around and practice a little bit to work out whether you need more or less or default pressure. It just depends on your machine and your card and how sharp your blade is. If you did pick pens, this is where it will give you the list of what you need to. Let's go. I ask you to unload. To make our custom insert card. And now we're going to be asked to select our material and today I'm using cardstock with the packet says that it's 210 GSM. So I'm going to select medium cardstock and I find that I don't get a clean cut unless I select more pressure. However, it is a risk that you will wear your mat out quicker. To make a custom insert card, I'm going to get the card stock and I'm going to pop it onto my mat using my scraper to avoid as many finger oils on my dirty mat as possible. Now, if you've got any tips for me to clean that mat, go ahead and pop them in the comments box below. Now, it's asking us to load our fine point blade and I'm just going to check mine is already loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and load my mat and I need to make sure I completely unload my mat before I go ahead and load it. First, it'll check that it has enough material, and if you're happy and it's happy, it'll ask you to press go. Now, the next two steps are very important. They ask you to unload, then it'll ask to reconnect to your machine and press finish. Now, if you don't complete that process, sometimes your joy can disconnect from your Bluetooth incorrectly and then have trouble reconnecting. So it's very important. And now it's weeding time. So it's time to weed that insert card off our mat. So the way I get the cleanest cut is if I fold up all four of those side edges first, take off the outer coating, peel the insert card off our mat carefully and try and avoid curling. After weeding, pop the insert card into the slots and that's it. A super easy, super cute card. If you liked the video today, please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up for me. If it is the first time you're watching me, make sure it is not the last. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you are amongst the first to know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching.